hours of Wednesday, November 6th. Young Taylor was reported missing from her family home. Officers have knocked on more than 600 doors and we have received hundreds of tips from our community. So we're still asking the public's help with providing us any additional detail they can about Taylor's whereabouts. Initially, Taylor's mother, Brandon Williams, was cooperative with the investigation. Uh, she has since chosen to stop cooperating with us. Uh, at this point, if we did, she'd be arrested. Where is she? Mm. The question on all of our minds. The search for five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams is now entering day three. Welcome. I'm Keith Nelson. I'm Lou Turner. So Taylor was first reported missing Wednesday morning, but now the sheriff's office says she may have been missing for weeks, if not months. Now the sheriff also says that Taylor's mother, Brianna Williams, mm. has stopped cooperating with their investigation. So many unanswered questions at this hour. We want to get right out to Lana Harris. She's live this morning. Uh, she has a quick breakdown of the new developments. Good morning, Lana. Good morning and right behind me is the home that Brianna Williams claims her daughter Taylor went missing from and you can see there is still crime scene tape wrapped around the house and police stationed out front. At this point, all investigators know is that Taylor is missing. What was once a call for the community to be on the lookout for this five year old little girl who went missing from her home in the middle of the night has now turned into police asking if anybody has even seen her in the last six months because they say the last person who did see her was her mother and her mother has again stopped cooperating now. So our on your side team was investigating yesterday and we spoke with neighbors here here in Brentwood who say they've never seen a child since Taylor's mother Brianna said they moved in this past Sunday. Then a couple who says Brianna hired them from Craigslist to help her move into this new home say they also never saw a child. Taylor's dad who lives in Illinois says it's been a minute since he's seen his daughter. So in yesterday's press conference, police say not only do they not believe Taylor walked out of the home on her own in those dark hours of Wednesday morning, they no longer know if that's the day she actually went missing or if that's just the day it was reported. Sheriff Mike Williams says her mother Brianna stopped cooperating after police noticed some things she was telling them was not matching up. As we began to dig into different aspects of uh, the mother's statements yesterday, she she we were talking to her about some inconsistencies in her statement, and that's when she chose to stop cooperating with us. So she is not here at JSO. She has not been arrested. Uh, and at this point, we just need her to cooperate with the investigation. Now, when asked if Brianna was now a person of interest or a suspect in this case, Sheriff Williams says they don't have enough evidence to do that or she would have already been arrested. So they are hoping that she will help them find her daughter. In the meantime, if you will help police find her daughter, uh, they're asking you to contact them. If you have seen Brianna and Taylor together within the past six months, they're trying to create a timeline. There is a $4,000 reward for any tip that leads to Taylor. Here in Brentwood, I'm Lana Harris. First Coast News on your side. So you just saw there behind Lana, there is still a police presence at the family's home out in Brentwood, but the sheriff's office is starting to scale back a bit on the search. Still trying to establish some sort of timeline and asking anyone to come forward if perhaps they've seen Taylor and her mother together in the last six months now. So, so much that we still don't know and the police are, are trying to figure out. And so we've mentioned this before. The other main search area is the Southside Villas apartment complex where Taylor and her mother lived before moving to Brentwood. It's still unclear if they have found anything of interest at that location. Well, here's another look at five year old Taylor Williams right now on your screen. Please look at this sweet baby girl, just three feet tall. She weighs just 50 pounds. Still, we're trying to figure out where she is, what is going on exactly. So many questions still. Police say she was last seen wearing pink and purple pajamas. If you see her, you're urged to please call 911 immediately. We're going to continue to stay on top of this search for Taylor. As always, we're going to have the very latest for you online at firstcoastnews.com. And don't forget to download that First Coast News app for instant updates.